Hi, I'm Tracy from Grizzly Knits. This is a knitting and crocheting podcast. I've missed you guys. I didn't come last week um, to give you all the updates, but I'm here now and I hope you can stay. Grab a drink and your knitting or your crocheting and let's get started. I have a lot to show you and a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, I am doing a giveaway for 400 subscribers. I don't quite have them yet, um, but by the time this is done, I hope that I have them. I think I'm a couple of, a couple of subscribers off. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm gonna talk about the giveaway and the prize at the end. Okay, let's get started because there's a lot to do and I wanna take all your time away from you. Um, you know what I'm wearing because I've worn it before. Just quickly, I'll tell you, it's my Out of, the win Out of Winter Shawl by Tammy Gore. And the yarn is by Songbird Fiber. And that's what I'm wearing. Um, but I do have three finished objects. But I couldn't wear them and I'll show you why. It's nothing bad. Uh, okay, first thing I finished, which I am in love with. I found this pattern called the Wood Folk Fingerless Mittens. And right away, I was so drawn to their Instagram. It is so beautiful um, and cozy, and I just love these mittens. Now, I've made fingerless mittens before, but I never really got the thumb part of it. So this was a little bit of a challenge, but honestly, this pattern was incredible. Very well explained. Before I put them on, well, let me show you them. These are them. And before I put them on, I just have to say they're too big, but that is not because of the pattern. It is because I have really small hands. So usually women's gloves do not fit me, but I tried them on my daughter who has normal hands and they fit her. Actually, they're not that bad, but they could be a little bit tighter. So I was really pleased with how they turned out. So these will be a gift for someone in my life. Um, I did them out of Drops Air yarn. You know, I love that. Uh, that's the same yarn I did from my Nuke sweater from last, last podcast. Um, actually, I think some of the colors are the same from that sweater, some leftovers. So it's always nice to use leftovers. Yeah. And I really want to make another pair because they were so fun to make, honestly. So that's a great pattern. If you're looking for something fun that is uh, that you can make for a gift for someone. Okay, while I was on the fingerless glove train, my friend Christy from Farmhouse Knits Co. came out with essential fingerless gloves. And I really wanted to try her pattern. And, uh, what I did was, and she gives really great instructions as well. And she also gives uh, instructions with, if you don't want to use, it's a super bulky yarn, but how many you need of another type of yarn to get the super bulky yarn. So I wanted to use up a little bit of my Melody Drops, which is so soft and fuzzy, and it's an alpaca yarn. And I made these. Oh, here's my label. I'll put them on. So I did do a few modifications. I'm a very tight knitter, so sometimes I do have to add on a few stitches, which I had to do with this. So I held two of the metal, metal, Melody uh, yarns together to get the thickness that I needed. Again, really great instructions. Um, and I added a little bit of ribbing at the top. I think that's what I added. So just a few modifications, but they're great. And I could see me using this over and over again. Um, I thought this would look so sweet with like a hat or in different colors. Again, another great gift knit. So that was exciting. And she has beautiful stuff. She has 
this pattern. She has a really sweet baby blanket pattern that I have. So go check her out. And her Instagram is really beautiful. And she's the sweetest person. So she's a fun one to follow on Instagram. Okay, so that's number two finished objects. And I have one more that is actually an order for a photographer in Alberta. And it's going out tomorrow. You've seen me do this before. The sweetest sleeper. by, I don't want to get the name wrong, uh, Simply Sycamore. I think I know that by now. And I used the Drops Melody that you just saw in the exact same color. Ta-da! I know this looks like no human would actually fit in there, but believe it or not, a little week older will fit in here, no problem, and looks super cozy in their pictures back so this was an order so i finished that and it's going out like i said okay so those are all my finished objects and now my works in progress there was a lot but i'm happy to say nothing new so that's good like i didn't just cast on a million new things so i had some self-control i guess the fingerless gloves was not self-control but okay Let's just get on with it. My first whip in my Wizard of Oz bag by Late Longview Creations, which I love, is my test knit. So I'm test knitting a shawl for Brie from Fiber and Fern uh, called the Mod Shawl, which is going to be out, I'm thinking, the end by the end of the month. And I am on the last section. I'm going to show you this best I can. It's kind of crumpled and there's a lot of stitches on there right now. I think there's over 300 tiny little stitches. You know what? I'm going to show you as we get closer. So it's a little hard to see. It's a little dark in here too. There we go. So I'm at the last section and then I need to block it. And then we're done. So this is taking me quite a while. Um, at the beginning, you're going really fast and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this, no problem. And then you forget that as it grows each row, it takes a really long time. And um, especially this, the lateral braid takes quite a long time to do, but it is so worth it. We were all saying that we have a little test group chat going on and we're all like oh it's taking so long but it's so beautiful and so worth it so this is a great shawl pattern I, I highly recommend to get this when it comes out it's just gorgeous um my yarns I've talked about this before so I don't want to talk about it too much but I uh it's autumn and indigo and it's really super soft in a fingering and my little stitch marker Right there, my little rainbow from Cedar Knits. I always forget her name, Cedar Knits. I'm gonna write it, I'll write it down below. I think I said the exact same thing last time, but I don't wanna not say who it's from because she makes such beautiful stitch markers. Cedar River Knits, I always forget the river. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm getting old guys. Okay, so that's that. So I've been working quite a bit on that. Um, alrighty, and I'm going to take this off because it's getting very warm in here, believe it or not. Huh, okay, there we go. Um, sock talk. So, socks are coming along. These are my October socks. Yes, it's November. You don't have to remind me. Um, they're coming along. I don't know. I like making socks, but I have to say, I don't think I love it as much as everybody else because I don't wake up going, yay, I can work on my socks today, which I do with some other projects. So I'm not really, I don't know why, but let me show you. So this is, I show this a lot, a lot, and it's an incredible pattern, School of Sock. And 
I'm doing two at a time, but on separate double pointed needles. And I did my heel flap and gusset. So that's pretty, pretty big for me. I think that's where I stall. Like I do it and then I'm like, oh, I got the big job of putting in that heel and then it sits for a little bit. So at least I did that. And this yarn is a sock set from To The Max in Bloodbath. Great yarn, I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, so there they are. And now I'm on the foot of the sock. And then we have toes and then we're done. And I say that like it's nothing, but it, it's a lot for me. Uh, there they are, okay? They're getting there. October socks. Um, so while we're talking socks, oh, and I have it in my Sandy by the Lakeside bag. Um, my friend, Judy Jewell, from the Autumn Acorn, just put out a new pattern that I'm really intrigued with. So I bought it, but I haven't started it yet because I'm making myself finish those socks. It's called the Magic Heel Socks. And her idea was for people who get really stuck or intimidated by the heel. Hers is, uh, from what she said, and you have to go on her, she has a video, she's a podcaster too. You uh, you should go to her podcast, they're really, really sweet. I think I've spoken about her before. Um, and she uh, talks about how she does it, how she constructed it, and how it's made her love making socks. So I bought it and I'm really intrigued and I'm gonna try it after I finish my socks to see the magic in, the magic heel socks. So that's exciting. Okay, so that's for socks. What else did I work on? Um, I wish I could say my sweater is done. Okay, so this is the J sweater by Rachel Brockman. I want to say Brockman. Is it Brock or Bach? Let me see before we go any further. It is... Oh, I was right. Brockman. Um, I'm, I, I lost steam. I lost steam on this project, which is sad. I, I don't know why. There's, it's nothing to do with the pattern or the yarn or anything else. This is a me problem. But um, it's coming, but really, really slow. So what I, I came across... Um, let me tell you. I came across... Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. She's a podcaster and she has an Instagram. And she talks about this new thing she's doing called 30 minutes of sweater uh, a day. So for 30 minutes, she puts on her timer and she works on her sweater. And I know a couple of other people are doing it as well. And um, it seems to be working. So even though it's just a tiny little bit of progress, it's you because you're doing it every single day, you're, you're making progress. So I started that today. I took it up for 30 minutes, put on the timer and worked. So I'm going to try that and see, and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I'll see if it brings back like the mojo of, of this sweater. Cause it'd be a shame if like the holidays come and go, not that I'm going anywhere, but still it'd be nice to have a cute little red sweater. Um, but there's still so much work to be done. So we'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and the yarn I told you before is Knit Picks in Romance. Uh, the color's Romance and it's the City Tweed DK. Okay. So that's that. And I think I have one other thing that I worked on. That I'm really having fun with. This I'm having a lot of fun with. This is one of those projects you do wake up and you go, yay, work on my granny square blanket. So last time I showed you the Knit Picks white yarn that I got to do to start joining up the squares and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do that. So I watched 
did a few different YouTube videos and I decided um, what I was going to do is do one more round of the square in the white. And this is just a basic granny square pattern that you could find. There's a million of them on YouTube if, you, if you're interested. Here, let me just put this down. And then I started doing the join method, the crochet join method. So this is it so far. And I am really enjoying this. So one side is flat, but then when you turn it over, it's got like a little ridge, which I really don't mind. It's, it's very cute, it adds to it. I don't know, I think this has like such a retro vibe. So I'm really loving it. And I try to join like one or two squares a day. So I still have like some that I have to join. And then there's even some that I haven't even put the weight on yet. Anyway, I'm loving this project. It's slow, but that's okay because it's just very enjoyable and there's no rush, there's no deadline. Sometimes it's really nice to have things like that in your day where it's just the process of, of knitting and not having to, you know, I've got to do four rows of this today and I've got to do 30 minutes of this today. Like, you know, we want some low stress stuff as well. And this is definitely one of them. Okay, so those are the things I'm working on. I don't have any dream knitting because I have to finish some things because it's going to get out of control. Um, I had a few things that came through the mail, just just a tiny bit. It's been two weeks, just, just a little. And then I'm going to talk about the giveaway. Let me just make sure I talked about everything that I want. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did talk about everything. Okay, glad I looked at my notes. Um, all right. A few, about a month ago, I got a like on Instagram that intrigued me. It was by, and a follow, by uh, Rescued Bears. And sometimes when names pop out, you kind of, hmm, I wonder what that is. So I went and looked. And they are a Toronto organization that collects small stuffed animals, like the Beanie Babies, uh, with knitted little sweaters on them. And... Uh, all the money, they have a shop on Etsy. So you go on Etsy and you can purchase a bear with a little sweater or a little outfit, and then they mail it to you. And the money goes to Keys, which is a place that helps adults with intellectual disabilities. So I thought that was such an amazing initiative. Um, and they reached out to me because they saw that I do make little... Um, little bears and little sweaters and things like that. Um, I did that more last year than this year, but they asked if I had any. Um, and luckily my mother uh, had a bunch of Beanie Babies um, that she wanted to donate and I had some sweaters. So we sent that all off and they were very, very grateful. And they're just a really sweet organization trying to do good. So I wanted to mention them and I'm going to put their information below and uh, they are called Rescued Bears. They're on Instagram and they have some really cute posts on Instagram and they're always looking for bears if you could donate bears. But if you're a knitter um, and you have some time and like to knit some little sweaters or little outfits that they could put on their bears, they would be incredibly grateful. So I'm glad I didn't forget that because I really wanted to talk about that. Anyway, so I'll have the information if anybody's interested. Okay, now what I bought, um, Whimsy and Sassy. I, they have some stitch markers that I absolutely adored. I love hearts. They're hard to see. So I bought these and I needed some, needed some um, DK worsted. So I went online to the Knitter's Loft and I got my first Nice and Knit yarn. 
I've heard of this brand, haven't gotten before, uh, in this gorgeous color. This one is called Olive Juice, and I think this one's called Jetty. And they're absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking these will be hats for some gift knitting. So that's it. I mean, that's it. Uh, I swear. Um, okay, now for the giveaway. So I am doing a 400 subscriber giveaway. Um, all right, first I'll show you the prize and then I'll say what I, what I, I need you to do. So I also got from Whimsy and Sassy, the cutest stitch markers. Again, it's hard to see. So this one is a little like no mountain, if that makes any sense. Trust me, it's cute. And a little mushroom and a little cookie. And they are so cute. They're like clay, like hard to, oh, they're just really adorable. So this is gonna be a prize with yarn. Two skeins of yarn. This one is self-striping, black, white, and gray, and it's from Biscotti Yarns. And I thought it would go really nicely with this kind of off-white color in Cascade Yarns in Heritage. And they were DK. And I, uh, I can't wait to see what somebody makes out of this. So it's gonna be this, this, and the stitch markers. So if you are interested in winning my little prize pack, um, here's what I'd like you to do. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'd like you to answer this question, but you don't have to. If, if, if you don't want to, just write something else nice. That's fine. Uh, my question was, you always learn what I'm making and I'd love to learn what you're making. So whether you're a crocheter or a knitter or a quilter or whatever you are doing that is creative, I would love to know what you are doing right now, what you're making. And that's it. Um, I'm going to choose the winner of my next podcast. And I'm not sure if that's going to be, if I'm going to do them weekly or every other week. Um, I'm thinking probably every other week just so I have more to show because I don't want to keep showing the same things to you guys and I'm not the fastest knitter. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right. That's a slick. I think I spoke about everything and thank you so much for joining me again. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and well and I